Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play Hearthstone on PC using the brand new Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Hearthstone and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Hearthstone. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all my friends, the first thing to do is to launch our favorite browser. We have here the one we prefer. Let's go to that URL I have highlighted in green color. Now, you can discover on the screen. You don't need to type anything, simply because I added the clickable link in the description of this video and the first main comment. We arrived right here on the internet site of Usatility, in which we get a precise overview on how to obtain Hearthstone on laptop or computer. We search down a little bit and then click on the download game on PC button. After clicking on the link, we arrive here on the site of Bluestacks, which the Android emulator that we are going to run to play Hearthstone on the PC. It is now obvious that we access several pros of preferring this emulator. Then, we will start downloading the Hearthstone by simply clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that you can visualize here in green color. Next step is clicking on that button, and the download takes no time at all. Voila, here is located the download. It's an executable file. What we are going to do now is to run the executable file, so we click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow modifications to the laptop or device. We answered yes. I minimize the browser to start to see the installation software significantly better. The installer is uncomplicated. It is made up of two choices, install and setup path. I am going to show you what setup path does. We merely click on it. And therefore we discover that we get here the path where in fact the emulator can be placed. If we prefer to vary this directory we have got to click on the browse button and we pick another folder and set up the emulator precisely where we desire. I am going to leave it where it is. Then I click on back. So I just click install. Voila. The setup commences and it's going to carry on along with the download of these MB that are displayed on the computer screen. At the time you download it, it is likely to be more or less MB. The data transfer speed might go at a higher speed or at a lower speed, depending on your connection and depending on the performance of the emulator hosting servers. Right away they're working very fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At present, the emulator has been started on autopilot. As you can discover, down here, there's a progress bar which will move forward to the right when it reaches the finish, the emulator will be launched for the first time. The truth is the emulator is already started, here for the first time. Before we continue on, as you can see now, it has made two software icons there on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks Multi-Instance. Note that the Bluestacks software icon is going to be the only one we are focused on. The moment we have to launch Hearthstone on the desktop or laptop, we double-click on that icon and therefore run the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Shall we perform the following step, which is actually a requirement, and which is to access the Google Play Store. To achieve this we will browse there to, System Apps, we click on and we'll mouse click on Play Store. As you can observe the Google Play is started. At this point we have got to log on. At this point the moment we're on this page, we have to do this next step which is mandatory. So that we mouse click on, sign in. Presently it says, checking info. It might occasionally get blocked in, checking info, and so it does not advance. If that's the case, you should attempt to connect to your account after a couple of hours and it will usually be fixed. At this time we will provide our email and password. The email needs to be a Gmail email as well as its corresponding password. For example you can use the very same email you use currently in your own YouTube account. Thus I am going to insert my details and I'll come back after I have done it. Voila! Details typed. Discover Google welcoming us and presenting us their twos. 
We are going to consent to them by clicking on, I agree. Following that, it offers us to back up to the Google Cloud. You can also let it selected and it will make a backup of the data on that device to Google Drive. I won't check it, you can utilize this option if you like. We click on accept. Google Play Store is started without need to open it manually and on autopilot. To set up the app, we need to get to the emulator desktop by clicking on this app icon indicated green colored. At this point that we are watching the desktop of this emulator for Android, we can see that we have now right here the install game option. We click on the button. On this page we get the Android game. How about we simply click right here on the install button that I'm just highlighting now in green. This action will begin the software setup. Straight away it is going to download on your desktop or laptop and install the Android game. It may take a while or it may just be almost immediate. It again all is subject to on our own connection to the web. It's actually finished setting up. Back to the emulator desktop by hitting this particular option that I'm presenting in green, so that you can launch Hearthstone for the first time. I am at present on the emulator desktop, and consequently we are preparing to just click on the fresh Hearthstone icon which has been provided. This Android game is started for the first time. Now there we have it, I can also click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should discuss the sound level of this emulator. It's right here. We have the icon of higher volume along with the icon of lower volume, this way we will not depend on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of this emulator. And also to enjoy the experience to the greatest, we will switch on the large monitor, for which we have two choices. This one is the first one, we then click on this particular software icon that I'm pointing out in green. Thus the screen is maximized, offering one border on top, one at the right and the third one at the bottom. In the event that we choose to play the application using all the screen, we press on this application icon. And we might presently be experiencing the game app in full screen setting. To exit the full screen mode, click the F11 key. And we might just end up being in regular display mode. At this point, I am starting to clarify you the computer keys mapping and that is definitely rather exciting. This step we will be able to use the game app far more effortlessly. The first point is to mouse click this computer keyboard icon. It's now time to complete the recommended controls. I can leave the standard configuration, but if you want to adjust this, you may well do so without having problem. As you can observe, the emulator is totally in our own language. On occasion it occurs that your emulator is started in the wrong language, such as, in Chinese. And as a consequence to set it in the appropriate language we browse here to the cogwheel. Then there throughout many other controls, we just click on the, language, drop down. We can go with the language we want, English, Chinese, and so on. As soon as the language is determined, we are going to save, the emulator will restart, along with the Android game, next time we launch it, will also be in the opted for language. At this point, you will find another point that we have to take into consideration, and it's that we will receive a message from Google Mail, saying that a new device has been associated with this Google account. It will certainly question us if we're the people who have connected that device. Yup, we ought not be troubled, considering that the emulator is emulating in Google Android device. So you can discover which tablet or smartphone is currently being emulated, we go right here, to the cogwheel and we just click on it. Let's go here to the, model, choice. And now we determine that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung cell phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for our video user demo. I anticipate you liked it, especially that you found it useful. In that case, bring it a superb thumb up, subscribe to our channel, and I will be happy to answer your comments, requests or ideas, leave them in the comment area down below. You can also leave a remark on my Twitch channel, I actually do live streams every now and then, you get it down below in the video description and in the very first pinned comment. Click on any of the videos that happens to be showing up on the computer screen and see you in the future online videos. Bye.